Hi friends, it's Glenn. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share with you my June TBR. I have 10 books to share with you, but I have a bunch more on my overall summer TBR, but I figured let's go ahead, stick to 10. Hopefully I read these. And then if I do, I can just jump into some other ones. Um, I don't have all of the books here with me because I ended up ordering three book of the month books. So we'll get to those in a minute, but let's go ahead and jump into the books that I want to read this month. The first one is Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. And I absolutely loved Every Summer After by this author. I recommend it all the time. I think it's a perfect like spring summer read. Um, and I gave it five stars. It was one of my favorite books of the year. But I've heard some not so great things about this one. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm going in with an open mind. So this one is about Fern Brookbanks, and she has wasted too much of her adult life thinking about Will Baxter. So back when they were kids, they were basically in love until they were like 17 years old, I think. So they met each other when they were younger, and then the timing was wrong, but their connection was undeniable. They shared every secret, every dream, and made a pact to meet again one year later. Fern showed up, Will didn't. And now at 32, her life doesn't look anything like she imagined it, but then Will comes back in her life and it seems like he's hiding something and she's not sure what it is. It says, but 10 years ago, Will Baxter rescued Fern. Can she do the same for him now? So I'm looking forward to it. I hope it's everything that I want it to be we shall see. Another book that I have been putting off for far too long, actually all of this author's um, work I have been putting off for far too long and I've had this on my TBR since it released. Let me, let me, let me look. Since 2020, okay, so it's been a few years. The Off Limits Rule, a romantic comedy by Sarah Adams. Um, you might know her from like When in Rome or The Cheat Sheet. She has several books out and those were really popular, but this series, but these are the books that like put this author on my radar. So I'm very excited that Keisha and I from A Book Like You will be buddy reading this one with me this month. And then maybe we can move on to the next book. So like I said, this author has been on my radar for a while. Her books have been on my TBR for a while, but I'm hoping to get to this one with Keisha this month. We're going to be buddy reading it. Um, it says, this is like set in Nashville. It's like the Nashville series. It says, I have found rock bottom. It's here, moving in with my older brother because I'm too broke to afford living on my own. It's okay though, because we've always been close and I think I'm going to like living with him. That is until I meet Cooper. Turns out my brother has very strong opinions on the idea of me dating his best friend. So looking forward to buddy reading this, like I said, um, and then we'll see what other Sarah Adams books I end up getting to. I do want to participate in the Suns Out Books Out readathon. Little sad that it's not a full week. Little sad that they chose another YA book, but we're gonna go with it. Um, they chose this for the buddy read, The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walter. And I do love this cover. I ordered it specifically for the readathon. So I really, really hope that I enjoy it. I know it has a lot of like Taylor Swift references, but I don't know too much more than that. But if you wanna participate in Signs Out Books Out, I will leave an announcement video in the description box. But this is their group read. Um, it's all fun and games until someone loses their heart. I don't want to know like too too much but yeah it seems like it's going to be a really cute summer YA like story. I also have two graphic novels that I want to read because they're kind of like beachy summery. Um, the first one being Surfside Girls The Secret of Danger Point by Kim Dwinnell and I just love the surfing. I love the cover. It should be a good time hopefully. Tide Song by Wendy Xu and another beautiful cover and I'm just I'm just hoping to get some light fluffy nostalgic like fun reads this summer that's what I'm looking for and then one of my most anticipated books of the year Happy Place by Emily Henry I think I'm the last of my friend group to read this book and everybody has had a little bit a different opinion on it some people have loved it some people have not 
not loved it. Um, but I'm just excited to go in with an open heart and an open mind and, you know, feel all the things that I want to feel with the story. Um, it's all about Harriet and Wynne. They've been the perfect couple since they met in college and every year their friend group gets together and so they are kind of breaking up but they're pretending like they're together so they don't like ruin the vacation for everyone and I think they might get back together I'm not really sure I don't know I just want to go into it with an open heart you know so that's what I'm gonna do the next few books are all book of the month books I want to read the only survivors by Megan Miranda from my best friend Jessie's book club sleep when I'm dead her and Elise will be discussing this towards the latter half of June I'll put the details here as I always do but I'm really excited about this I was gonna read it early but I heard it had really good summer vibes so I'm here for it I've only read one other Megan Miranda as far as I know um, um, and I really enjoyed it so I'm hoping I enjoy this one too but um, join the Sleep When I'm Dead book club all you have to do is read the books show up to the discussion um, there is a discord there is an Instagram I'll have all of that stuff linked in the description box for you um, but this one like I said I don't know too much about it seven hours in the past seven days in the present seven survivors remaining who would you save? Like I said, I got three different books from Book of the Month. I got She Started It by C.N. Gilbert. Um, this is the thriller pick. It sounded like it was going to be tropical and beachy, so I picked it up. I also got My Murder by Katie Williams, which seems like it's going to be a little bit sci-fi, a little bit mystery about this woman that's solving her own murder. And then the last one I picked up is The Whispers by Ashley Aldrain which I really loved the push by Ashley Aldrain so I'm really hoping I love this one but it's about a like neighborhood like a group of moms and kind of like there's an accident that happens with one of their sons and you know things take off from there but yeah I'm hoping to do a book of the month vlog I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to try. Um, but yeah, those are my June reading plans. I will not be doing a June reading wrap up at the end of the month. Um, just with so many things happening in the summer, both in the bookish world and in my real life, I also have jury duty, a whole bunch of things going on. Um, I just don't do them in the summer. It's hard to get guests for it and coordinate schedules and all of that fun stuff. So I just do a big end of summer bash like at the end of the summer the last Sunday in August I have a bunch of creators on and then we just talk about all of the books that we read over the summer so that's it for me I hope you enjoyed go ahead and like this video subscribe if you're new here these are the books that I am hoping to read in June I'm actually hoping to read more than these but we shall see anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're having a beautiful day or night and I'll see you guys again in another video very soon. Bye friends!